All right, guys, today we're going to be re reviewing the modern RPG bundle again. This is by request. We did a version 4. I gave this quite a bit of time, maybe even more than a year, for the author to change some things, optimize their stuff, and I really want to see where this game. So let's jump right into it. I'm just going to load a project up here. I know the price went up on this, and I think it was due to the animation work that was done and the new um, melee, and I think there's some sword animations and stuff we'll check out in a bit there. So... That's the new melee stuff. Overall, I am not that impressed with them, to be honest with you. They don't really feel that good. Not sure who did the new animations, but they look about as good as some of them icon packs that come out by the AI-generated junk. And we're out of the map. So we just found a glitch. Maybe it's a one-off. Maybe it's not. Maybe it'll happen again. Maybe it won't. But don't let that take away from everything that this has to offer because there's a lot of good things about this and there's some bad stuff. So we're going to get into some of that in a second here. So first thing I want to do is talk about the optimization has came a long or come a long way, sorry, since version four. Uh, even the AI came a long way. Like if I add them in, they the FPS don't drop. I, I tried it. It doesn't have an effect, so let's take a look. I'm just going to take a look at the FPS. I know they were really bad in the old versions, but I'm still getting pretty good FPS. I'm recording right now, and I was getting like 70 steady FPS, which is really good before. So no issues with the performance. It, it did come a long way, like I mentioned. We have the car back. They did take the car back, or took the car out, sorry, for the longest time. I don't know why they did that, but... This is probably one of the nicest driving cars I've seen. They have the stereo and radio added in there. So this still feels great. They added a new car in, which is really cool. Let's take a look at this guy. There's no interior though yet, which kind of sucks. And it's kind of wobbly. Oh, we can see our feet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like a Fred Flintstone car. You can see the feet in the bottom. We can probably oh we can roll it too so yeah i'm stuck in the car now and i can't get out oh there we go yeah i can see my feet through the car though maybe it's a little glitch there too but overall for the features wise i'm just going to talk as i go here and we'll check out some of the stuff the climbing system i think right now is a bit bugged uh, i can glitch through the map because i think the root motion is clipping me through the wall uh, the animation work i am not that impressed with so far the melee stuff doesn't really feel that good. Uh, I have my weapon. How do I take it out? Okay, so my weapon's glitched right now, and I can't bring it out. So I'm going to start over. It's another glitch. Or maybe it... I don't know, I picked it up. I'm going to try this again. Uh, maybe I did something wrong. Oh, no, that time it worked, so it was definitely a glitch. So... Yeah, I, I think the Unreal Engine 4 animations were actually better. This That just doesn't look right to me. I don't know, it just doesn't feel as smooth as they did in Unreal 4. That's just a personal opinion. Maybe you guys think this looks better. I don't know, let me know in the comments. But to me, that just... For the extra money, I don't think the animations are better. I'm just going to take a look at this sword. How do I get this out? There we go. Sword animations actually feel smooth, I'll give it that. These do look good. That looks alright. I'm pretty happy with that. And the execution system, that's pretty cool. So overall, for this template, I've used this since the beginning. And I have to say that for features, you're getting a 5 out of 5. This template basically gives you every feature you could ever want to make even a Grand Theft Auto style game or anything you want a survival zombie game it's replicated it basically takes every single system that you could ever want in a game including vehicles and mashes it all together into a, a bit of a mess to be honest I, I don't know if you're gonna pick this up I'm just gonna give you my two cents on it if you're not a studio with at least four to five developers I wouldn't expect to put a game out quickly with this because there's quite a bit of a learning curve. 
I think a lot of people see this and then they get a dream in their mind that they're going to build the next Grand Theft Auto game. They're going to have this out and make a ton of money within a year. Just being honest, I don't see it happening. Not that there's not a lot of good solo devs out there that may be able to do that, but in reality, I just... I don't want to see anybody impulse buy this on the on the false, I guess, dream that they're going to grab this, pick it up, switch out some characters and throw them in a level and it's all going to be seamless and they're going to make a million dollars. Just, I don't think that's going to happen without a team. Some real, I guess, planning, some nice level designers and everything. You're not going to asset flip this and make a lot of money. I, I just don't see that happening. And there is some bugs to work out, as you've seen climbing system and I don't think the animations are there. I think the animations, if the developer spent money on the animations like they said, I think it was a waste of their money and they should have kept uh, things the way they were. Even with the, the terrible baseball bad animations that were there before, I think it's still better than some of this. I don't know what's going on with this. It's lagging a bit. That's yeah, just some shader stuff and another glitch with the level. So my level system is glitched out now too. That's another glitch. That's three glitches and I've never played this before. So, like I said, this takes all the systems and it's lagging heavily for some reason because of that level glitch. And I have no idea what caused it. Uh, so, yeah. All the features. Takes everything you could ever want and just makes a mess of it. So, for that reason, I mean, I gotta take some points away. But features is definitely a 5 out of 5. Because I've taken the components out of this and I've added them into my own games. That's the, that's the good thing that this does. So, where's my player? It's been a while since I used this. This is the first time I actually loaded it. Not even, not even joking. Demo character. Demo character. So when you open your character, the shaders may have to compile because I haven't done this yet. You'll see they have a ton of um, components here. So you could take some of these components and add them into your own game, like I've done that with the um, the radio system out of the cars. I've added that into a VR game where I have, can carry around a little radio. So you can take all these components individually and they're not that hard to put into your own game. So you're getting a lot of systems here that you can take out and add into your own game and really work off of them. So that's definitely a big bonus with this. The optimization, I think they've really done a great job of that as well. Aside from the glitches and I don't know what's going on with the level system. But a 4 out of 5 on the optimization, and I think that was terrible in my last review because it just wasn't there. The tutorials came a long way in this, so I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5 on the tutorial front. They have a ton of new stuff posted with the tutorials. The only thing I want to address is any of the users that bought this back in the original days I did, we had a drone in there, and I just want to address that. This drone disappeared, and... They also took this out for the longest time. One of the best things ever is this little car here. So they did the same thing with the drone. They took that out and it hasn't been back. And when I first bought it, I was making a game based on on that drone system, which is kind of disheartening. And he took that away. So uh, I didn't like that. That was just a little a personal thing. But uh, just taking a look here, what else I wanted to mention. Another thing I wanted to mention is I did reach out to the developer on this several times since version 1 and 2. And recently there was a person in their Discord, off the topic here, who was trying to scalp this for free. And I'll show you, this is uh, Monolag, this is the creator. I messaged him and said, hey, there's a guy in here trying to do this. And uh, anyway, not a big deal. But <laughs> I threw some shade on his product when the guy messaged me. He asked me if I had this, I said yeah, but it sucks, I don't recommend it, which I didn't. Because I didn't open this new version at the time. Anyway, I told him good luck in the future. And all the things that I thought were wrong with it at the current time. He didn't respond, but I know he's read this, and I know he does take this into consideration. He is a good developer, and he puts a lot of work into this, you can really tell. It's just, he's rushing things still, and he's trying to tweak things, so it's still not there yet, in terms of everything being bug-free and I guess a, a ready-made template but overall I'm gonna probably give this a 3.8 out of 5 so still I do recommend it but I don't want you to buy this with the idea that you're gonna make the next Grand Theft Auto in a month and put it on a marketplace and make a million dollars because you're not so if you're just gonna impulse buy this uh, 
like I said, be wary of that. Don't uh, don't chase an impulse buy on this, and if you can, pick it up on sale because there's still some bugs there you're going to have to work around. And the quest and dialogue system, I haven't found anybody that really made it work correctly yet. Uh, I didn't. There is some good tutorials, and being honest, I didn't put the time into them and really look through it and learn learn it. I just didn't do that, so maybe that's on me. But it was a bit difficult to understand, and I did not have a good time with it. So overall, like I said, around a 3.8 out of 5 for this. Uh, hope this helped you guys in your decision whether or not to buy it. And that's pretty much it. This is my updated review on it, everything I think about it. And if you have any more questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, so hopefully this helped you once again. And all the best, and I'll see you on the next one.